friends today we will study analog devices and circuits five questions we will take up today first question is what are analog devices and circuits second question what are its roles third question how it is applied in systems fourth question why there is a need of analog devices and circuits and fifth question what is the importance of analog devices and circuits now we will study these five questions in detail first question is what are analog devices and circuits the analog devices are systems which uses continuous variable signals these devices deal with analog signals with with any continuously changeable signal value the analog signals are usually built with combination of resistors capacitors inductors diodes transistors and operational amplifiers generally analog device is usually a combination of both analog machine and analog media that can together measure record reproduce or broadcast continuous information for example voltage current resistance rotation or pressure in theory the analog signals has an infinite number of possible values now we will study second question what are its roles the analog devices and circuits can be used to convert the signal into some other modified form for the purpose of amplification noise and distortion removal these are also used for observation analysis and synthesis regarding calculation of unknown circuit parameters it also include calculation of voltage current finding unknown values of inductors capacitors and develops filter circuits now we will study third question how it is applied in systems the analog devices and circuits are applied in systems for variety of applications using analog devices and circuits a weak signal taken from one end can be amplified and sent to another end one of such analog system is shown below as you see many components are there as represented in the above diagram there are many components of analog devices and circuits such as microphone amplifier and speaker the input signal is analog sound form is first converted to equivalent electrical form using microphone this electrical signal is then amplified to increase its strength now this amplified signal is then sent to speaker which converts this analog electrical signal to equivalent sound signal in this way a sound can be transmitted from source to destination using analog devices and circuits now we will study fourth question why there is need of analog devices and circuits the analog devices are usually a combination of both analog machine and analog signal that can together measure record process or broadcast continuous information for example the voltage current resistance rotation or pressure in theory the analog signal has an infinite number of possible values but it has low resolution which affects its accuracy the analog circuits can be very simple or complex in design and uses many electronic components such as resistors capacitors inductors diodes etc the analog circuits are difficult to design almost every time analog circuits and analog techniques are used together 
to achieve a specific objective. For example, an analog synthesizer uses analog circuits and analog signals to generate sound electronically. Now we will study last question. What is the importance of analog devices and circuits? There are many advantages which make analog devices and circuits very important. There are many types of analog devices which are working in various fields. These can work as an operation amplifiers, variable gain amplifiers, comparators, logarithmic amplifiers, analog ampl multipliers, sample and hold amplifiers, analog switch and multiplexer. The analog circuits are based upon straightforward approach of working. In these systems, the output follows the input in real time. These circuits are also used to perform various mathematical functions. Most of the analog instruments include basic approach of analysis to measure quantities such as temperature, pressure, etc. The digital cameras uses CCD charged coupling devices and CMOS complementary metal oxide semiconductors sensors which are popular um, analog sensors. So this was all about analog devices and circuits. In the next lecture we will study mobile communication. Thank you very much. Thank you.